Today, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Draw and Adobe Capture to draw over existing images and create clean vector graphics. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go into Adobe Draw. And I'm going to start up a new project. There we go, a nice blank screen. And I'm going to click the plus sign. And I could call in an image layer. Go to my gallery. And I'm going to grab this picture of Pastulio. I'm going to drag that out so that it's a larger size. Click OK. So I'm just going to use that as a background in case I miss some uh, images. I'm going to click Shape. So usually it's in this shape environment with your circles and your lines. But we're going to click Library of Shapes and the plus sign. So that plus sign is going to bring us right to Adobe Capture. And if you haven't played with that before, I've got a little tutorial on it. Uh, we're going to get out of the camera environment here and click on the gallery and camera roll. And there's my picture of Pastulio. I'm going to select that. And I can come in here and I can drag this around to get it to how I want it. That looks pretty good. Let me try clean up. No. Click the checkbox, and if you feel like erasing some stuff in here, you can. Click the eraser button, and you could start to erase some of this extra image if you want, but don't worry about that too much because we can do that in Adobe Draw. So let's just go ahead and click crop, crop that in on our image and smooth. So here's where you have the option for it to smooth it all the way out or leave it kind of rough. I'm going to go ahead and let it smooth it out and hit the arrow to send it to Adobe. I'm going to get it pretty close and then I'm going to hold and it's going to draw it right on there. So click on your layer, these little boxes, click on your layers and you can double click on your original one to see what you got left and I like to just to make sure I'm going to go ahead and say transform on this image layer that I created and I can drag it around until it matches where I, I feel good about or if I want I can I can kind of scale it up and down a little bit There we go. Click the checkbox. Now I've got two separate images. I'm going to get rid of that one. And now I can go and clean up this image with the eraser tool and zoom. There we go. And I can double check by turning back on my layers and see if there's any parts of the graphic that I want to try and clean up. I think I might add a little bit of this liquid back in to the image just to highlight its sloshiness a little bit. There we go. And double click back on that image layer. Make sure you get the results you're hoping for. So when you output this, it's going to be output based on how big you drug it. So go ahead and drag that all the way to the top and bottom of the screen before you hit that export button. And I'm going to say copy image to gallery, in this case with a transparent background. And now I can use that for any number of different things or I could start coloring over the top of it, or whatever I might be uh, interested in doing. But uh, this is a great way to take images and get them into Adobe Draw. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, if you've watched this far, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions about what I did in this video, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And as always, stay creative.